this overview, we are going to discuss DHIS2 Academies in a bit more detail. For those of you considering future learning paths, this may be particularly relevant. This overview will be divided into three parts. In part one, we will start by discussing the core DHIS2 Academy principles as well as the training model we are currently utilizing. In part two, we will focus on reviewing level one academies. This will be the next natural set of courses to consider if you have only completed the fundamentals courses. Lastly, in part three, we will discuss two of the level two academies that we have on offer. In particular, those most closely related to using events and tracker. When we review DHIS2 academies, one of the key principles that we have followed is that each version of the academy should introduce the latest features and applications, as well as best practices related to their implementation. As a result, academies are often meant to train core team staff that are responsible for managing a country's implementation rather than end users in the field. Given this focus, DHIS2 academies are seen as supplemental to in-country training and do not replace them. In fact, it is a good idea to think about in-country training after a DHIS2 Academy to train others and also reinforce the knowledge you have gained during the Academy. Academies have also traditionally provided an opportunity for sharing experiences within the community, including how successes were achieved and outlining shared challenges as well as mitigation strategies to handle them. When we look at the training model for DHIS2 Academies, there are several levels that we often interact with. At the base of the model, we have the basics, which are the fundamentals courses online that you are already familiar with. Above this, we have our level one academies. Our fundamentals courses serve as prerequisites for our level one academies, though relevant experience can also be substituted. Our level one courses are conducted by our HISP partners around the world in different regions using standardized approaches that are localized for each region. Level two academies are more topical. This list is often changing based on demand and courses may be offered multiple times a year or take a break for some time while approaches, guidance and material is updated. Level two academies are conducted by a core group of instructors regardless of where the academy is held due to the various specialities being discussed at this level. Lastly, there is also internal training that is provided using the same model. We use a similar approach when we are performing internal training to share the latest knowledge and best practices on a variety of topics as new information becomes available. Now that we have an overview of the principles and model, we will cover the Level 1 Academies in more detail in the next section.